guys, uh, it's Joel uh, with GetTherapyBirmingham.com and I wanted to do a quick book review of a book by Irvin Yalom and that is Love's Executioner. So Love's Executioner is a series of uh, <coughs> short stories about therapy um, and it's Yalom doing therapy with a patient. So each story is just one case of therapy. Just kind of an interesting way to learn about therapy because you get to hear his take on what he's thinking inside of his head about like oh the person said well thank you for assigning this to me as homework that was brilliant and he's like i don't remember that i assigned you any homework or the person says you know like well i you know i can't believe you said this thing that's so important to me and he's like i don't even remember saying that or the things that he thinks are super impactful and important actually are not what even heals the person yet they still are getting better um and he says, you know, if you think you recognize yourself as one of my patients or a person that's seen me, you're wrong because this book is true, it all happened, yet all of these people are amalgams of one another. And I'm talking about issues that come up so much, you could never go back and trace it back to a single patient. Yalom's really into the idea of this kind of like dyadic therapy, that therapy is that you have these two people who are working together, which I think is good, I like that about Yalom. Um, that he's saying that, you know, therapy is this process of dual, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, collaboration, where each person is trying to make this connection. And it's not that the therapist is all knowledgeable and all knowing and then tells, prescribes, go do these things to the patient. It's that them trying to have this connection is what teaches each person how to heal and how to be better, the therapist how to be better and the, the client how to, to um, to start to reduce their symptoms and to start to know who they are. Um, Yalom wrote two books that are really big and really foundational still in the 80s. One is the only, really probably still the only like thing you have to read if you're gonna do group therapy, his book on um, gr group psychotherapy practice and purpose. And then um, he also wrote Existential Psychotherapy, which is about using existential philosophy and the ideas of existentialism to do therapy. Um, Yalom's not a fan of cognitive only therapies. He thinks it has to be about this deeper thing, this connection, that the therapist needs to kind of have a lot of lived experience and a lot of knowledge that you can't teach that necessarily, uh, that it's something they have to do. I like those things about Yalom. Um, a ton of people get into the profession through him, at least they did kind of my era. Um, I remember him always being around and thinking he was like the greatest thing ever. Going back and rereading some of these books now, there's things that I notice that are missing for me. And a lot of them is trauma work. Like there, you don't see y'all ever talk about the body brain. You don't see him talk about muscle memory. You don't see him talk about sensory motor psychotherapy or the way that we learn to handle emotion. It's all these kind of like big existential ideas um, that I think is a little bit too thinky. I think he's a little bit like, too, like Freud in that way. Uh, and he's brilliant, he's good at thinking. Uh, he creates some of the most uh, amazing, you know, works of uh, academic texts for the profession that are still there. I think it's missing the kind of trauma, body, depth piece. Yalom doesn't like Jung that much. Um, he mentions Jung in Existential Psychotherapy in all like 900 pages of that book. He mentions him like one time, um, or twice maybe. And he, he says that he comes up with this monistic principle of like all is one which I don't really think is the correct reading of Jung. Um, but I, I think Yalom stays away from the idea of the unconscious in the way that Jung saw it as a series of parts of self. And I think y Yalom stays away from the idea that the body is at all connected to our thought-based experience. He says in Existential Psychotherapy that he goes to see this guy that's trying to help him reduce anxiety by doing muscle relaxation and body work, and he like hates it and gets nothing out of it. Um, and I, I, I can see that. Uh, I, can, I can see him having a hard time adjusting to that mode of therapy. Um, Love's Executioner is a good book. I think those things are missing from it because Yalom is a product of his time. He's reacting to the cognitive therapy that's sort of chiseling away at the psychoanalytic practice and the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s, as insurance comes in and, and healthcare gets a little bit more corporate and a little bit more... Um, interested in objective measurements and testing and, and all the things that probably it's not the better for. Um, and this book, it, what is interesting, what is good about Love's Executioner and the Gift of Psychotherapy and the other books that Yalom writes that are not academic um, textbooks but are, um, you know, sort of fictional works 
um, exploring therapy is that he has this sense that there's no right answer, that the therapist doesn't really know what's going on all the time and that's not their job to know, that the job of the therapist is to be present and to be loving and to be curious and interested in another person. And that through that process, a relationship will develop that is healing. It's Rogerian in that way. Um, and Yalom also feels like there are kind of like big, I don't want to just keep saying the word existential, but like there are, are big like paradoxes in life that need to be pondered and meditated on and sat with until all of a sudden we just see it through a different angle and, and realize our life from this different perspective. And he's very into therapy as that kind of process, um, which, you know, I think there's something to be said for. These are definitely interesting books. I think that people tend to gravitate towards Yalom's fiction at the beginning of their career. I'd be interested to see if there's anyone out there who is more mid-career established and still has those, uh, and, and, and and sees him differently. I'm curious. Um, so leave me a comment. Um, I hope that's helpful. If you want more uh, content or reviews, go to gettherapybirmingham.com. That's gettherapybirmingham.com. Thanks. <coughs>